All right, guys, welcome to the first episode of Storytime with Aaron, or some name like that. I haven't quite come up with an appropriate name yet, and I do understand that I have another series that are live stories. These I'm going to make completely different from the live stories, um, and they're going to have their own spin to them. So let's go ahead and hop into the first ever story time, right? So this actually happened uh, about a week ago. Um, I had a, a, a wart on my elbow, right? And, and nothing too uncommon. Most people have them around their hands or, or really uh, all over. But I had one on my elbow that literally just came up out of, the, like, out of nowhere. I have no idea how it came up. But then again, I guess warts just kind of happen like that anyway. Um, uh, but I was in a hotel room, and, uh, this was, I would say this is about one o'clock at night, right? I was, uh, laying around, I was watching some Netflix, and I started scratching my elbow, and I felt a very sharp pain, uh, right around the warts area, and then I felt, like, some liquid, and I was like, oh, it's probably bleeding. So I went over, I went out to the bathroom, and I looked at it, and sure enough, it was bleeding. Not too bad, though. And... I I, access, I assessed it, and I found that the wart was, like, hanging on halfway, and I'm like, man, I can't have a half hang on wart. I've got to, I got to get this, and if you know anything about warts, and if you're going to pull them, I, and I tell you not to, it's horrible, because, it, one, it's painful, but, um, it's, it's like, once it's done, it's done, however... <laughs> It is far from done once it's done, but I dug down really, really deep, and I tried to, like, yank it all out, hurt like crazy. Like, let me tell you, the, it would probably, from such a small place on my body, it probably had some of the most pain ever, so I yanked this thing out, right, and of course, of course, I gotta look at it, so I'm like washing this little wart out underneath the sink, there's a little blood on it, I'm looking at it, it's very squishy on the inside if you guys want to know. It, it has a very rough texture on the outside, but inside it's pretty squishy, right? So I'm, I'm inspecting this, and I'm like, wow, this is just nasty. So I throw it away, and I'm like washing my hands up, trying to get the blood away. And I look down on the counter, and there's literally just a puddle of blood. And it's leaking onto the floor, and I'm looking down, and there is a, it, it, not, I wouldn't say a ton. Like, it, there wasn't a hacker house, you know. But it was enough to be concerning, so I'm like, okay, and I look at my elbow, completely covered in blood, of course, and I clean that up, put it underneath the water, get up all that blood, because it's a hotel, you know, I mean, honestly, if someone comes in with like a, a like a forensic set, and they, they're gonna think something happened there, and, and they're probably gonna find my DNA, <laughs> they're gonna think I was killed in the bathroom with the, what is it, Colonel Mustard in the bathroom with the rope. That's what happened. But, um, so I'm, I'm cleaning this up, right? And I keep, you know, keeping pressure up on the elbow. And I take this, uh, the napkin, the toilet paper away. And it's completely covered in blood. I am literally switching out, like, um, toilet paper, tissues, on and off. And it, this is such a small little area, right? But so much blood was coming out on and off for at least 30 minutes and then I'm like okay something's gotta give I start googling it and they're like okay it's kind of common then I went across the page and I shouldn't have done this someone's like man I bled for a week straight <laughs> I'm like I can't have that I don't want that I want it to stop right now usually my blood clots well right so I'm, I'm pushing them all in and Basically, the best advice someone gave was get gauze and wrap it around it uh, with some uh, tissues in there. And I, I don't, I don't have that. I, it's one. It's uh, now it's almost two o'clock in the morning, and it's just uh, I'm standing there and I'm like, man, I've got to be resourceful. What, what can I use? I'm like shoving loads of toilet paper in it. They're all being soaked up by blood. And then I put a lot of pressure on it, raise it above my head for about 15 minutes. And I'm like, okay, okay, it must be done now. Took it off, barely any blood was coming out. So I was like, nice, nice. I got it. It was like dried almost. Like I was like, yes, it's finally done. Throwing it all away. I'm like packing up to get out of the bathroom finally. And I look all over the floor and there's little bitty droplets everywhere where I'd just been. Looked back at my elbow, completely gushing again. And luckily, luckily, I, I found a band-aid. And, and <laughs> this is pretty wild, but 
it wasn't my band-aid and and i didn't bring it however it was kind of just there like someone forgot it almost it was it was down under the shelves where the towels should be and it, it literally it was it was a blessing it was a huge huge band-aid guy it's like four times the size of your normal band-aid but someone left it, it was completely brand new i made sure of that it was still in its little packaging and i i opened it got some tissues put it on there taped it up mashed it really well went back to bed and i kind of kept it above my head i was still watching some netflix and literally my hand and arm started getting very 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 tingly i'm like oh man i've lost too much blood so I, I put pressure on it. I put it back below my head. You know, some blood can rush to that arm. And and I woke up the next morning and everything was good except for a ton of blood in the tissue, which actually did not get outside of the Band-Aid and get all over the the sheets. <laughs> that would have been horrible. But, but luckily, everything came together at the end. Um, I've learned not to uh, completely yank a ward off. Trust me, do the, do the freezing and the burning freezing and don't don't rip it off but it was kind of an accident that that led to me doing it and i'm sure if i would have just left it on halfway it wouldn't have bled that much but hope you guys enjoyed this uh story time this story i had to tell you um i guess it had a beginning middle and end uh let me know what you guys think down below make sure make sure you've watched the first video of today yeah there's three videos going up today i'm really trying to shape this channel back also, thank you so much for uh, being a patron. If you are, don't forget to look in the description. It's right there. I swear, I'm not. I'm not hiding anything, guys. Right down in the description, uh, you'll have a link straight to the Patreon. You can become a patron for as little as a dollar, or you can go all the way up and try to get my phone number. I recommend you not doing it because that is a huge, huge. Huge loss of profits there, but hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a little bit different from the live stories. Hopefully, you could tell by the end of this video. These are literally like I thought I had a ton of live stories to do, which I do, and I'm still not done. But I have like times ten <laughs> of just the story time. So if you guys enjoy it and you guys enjoy a good story, um, maybe if we can get a following behind this, I might um, type out, you know, everything I'm going to say and really script it and give you guys a very, very good story. But I don't know if it's gonna, if it's going to be, uh, workable yet. You know, I don't know if this is what you guys want. Uh, like I said, three videos are coming out today. Make sure you check the next video out for, uh, something I think you will all enjoy. And I think it's about time that we do again. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace.